Hello, my name is Laurie North and I have been a photographer for 11 years. My love for photography has set me on this new journey of food, photography, travel, and blogging. Being able to cultivate the three together and provide travelers and foodies like myself with advice on the best places to eat when traveling. This is to serve as a digital portfolio of my photography and love for traveling and food. My dream job would be to obtain a job doing social media marketing, specifically for restaurants or travel blogging. First on the list is Maine. We have two cats, which is located in Bar Harbor, and it's the most incredible little breakfast place that you'll find in town. They are known for their fresh food, cranking out anywhere from 300 to 500 breakfast every morning during their peak season. So be sure to get there early like we did if you don't want to wait long. This restaurant is also very pet friendly. We sat on the front porch to enjoy our breakfast and the scenery and the pups were more than welcome too. In the first picture, this is the summer scramble. I'm a vegetarian, so one thing I also do before traveling is make sure that the restaurants have something that I can enjoy as well. The scrambled eggs were made with fresh tomatoes, herbs, scallions and feta cheese with a side of their homemade spicy home fries, which to me weren't too spicy. This was also served with a homemade biscuit and strawberry butter, which I had to ask for more of because it was so good. The second picture is their version of French toast served with real Maine maple syrup, which my daughter asked, are you sure this isn't soy sauce? The third picture is the breakfast burrito that was served with black beans and spicy home fries that were crisp and full of flavor. Inside the burrito was scrambled eggs with corn, tomato, cheddar cheese, jalapeno peppers that were all wrapped in a flour tortilla, topped with sour cream and their homemade salsa. Another one on the main list is Thurston's Lobster Pound. We ate at the one in Bass Harbor it's part of a family business that dates back five generations. This area isn't very touristy, but it was nice to get away from the crowds. The food was good, but the scenery was by far my favorite. We tried the crab cake sandwich, which was a crab cake made portable on a grilled bun and chipotle aioli sauce, grilled lobster and cheese, freshly picked lobster with your choice of American or cheddar cheese on a grilled buttery white or wheat bread, and the grilled crab and cheese, which was crab meat lightly tossed in mayo, grilled on a whole wheat bread with your choice of American or cheddar cheese. And again in Maine, we have Stewman's Lobster Pound. Our waiter was so incredible at this location. My daughter wanted to try the lobster, and none of us even knew where to start. He cracked everything for her, explaining everything that he was doing, and he even told her how to tell whether the lobster was male or female. This lobster is called on the menu Simply Maine Lobster. It's the fresh lobster from their harbor, kettle steamed in seawater, drawn butter, and fresh lemon. Now let me tell you about this blueberry jam mojito. It's a blueberry twist on the original Stoli blueberry vodka, blueberry jam, hand-picked mint sprig, fresher pressed Persian limes, touch of agave nectar, and a splash of sparkling soda. soda. It was incredible. If you want a more intimate experience, you could hire Chef Hunter. Chef Hunter presented us with a once-in-a-lifetime experience in the mountains of Blue Ridge, Georgia. Chef Hunter came to our cabin to cook us a, the most incredible meals I've ever had. He does all the grocery shopping, cooking, and he even cleans up everything. All you have to do is enjoy. For the first course, we had roasted cauliflower bisque topped with red pepper crema. Second course was Roma tomato bruschetta with grilled French bread and balsamic reduction. Third course was a choice of filet mignon. And for me, I had cast iron seared salmon over wild rice and roasted broccoli. 
And fourth course was a New York style cheesecake with strawberry and fresh berries. The Shack in LJ, Georgia is a create your own poke bowl restaurant. In the first picture, you'll find the Vietnamese rolls, which are on their appetizer menu. It's rice noodles, shrimp, scallions, cilantro, basil, mint, car and carrots, all wrapped nicely in rice paper, served with sesame sauce. The second picture is the Thai chicken, which is a coconut curry base with udon noodles, Thai basil, cilantro, scallions, and walnuts. The third one is the Create Your Own Poke Bowl. This one has jalapeno peppers, avocados, shrimp, pickled cabbage, and you can either do noodles or rice. And then the fourth picture you see is Vietnamese beef pho, which is hearty broth served with rice noodles, Thai basil, cilantro, mint, scallions, jalapenos, lime, and bean sprouts. This rooftop bar called The Hook and Eye at the Hampton in Blue Ridge, Georgia offers an incredible view of downtown Blue Ridge and an adventure of flavorful mixed drinks. And who can leave Italy off the list? This restaurant was another precious sidewalk table right in the Jewish ghetto. And we, of course, had to stop for gelato. And then bringing it back to the United States, we have Mama's on Washington Square. Mama's started in the 1950s as a family-owned ice cream shop. In the late 60s, it was expanded to a restaurant and became a city favorite. There is no seating inside, and there are only a few tables on the sidewalk, so make sure to get there early. We had the Mama's Old Fashioned Buttermilk Pancakes, which came with three, and then a side of two farm fresh eggs served with grilled potatoes and toast. And then the house-baked banana bread French toast topped with fresh bananas. If you're looking for an incredible breakfast in San Francisco, I highly recommend.